No, this is my an iPad. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's an iPad. But believe me, I'm a bit more willing to waste time. That's fine. Because it has no Facebook. <laughs> it has no Candy Crush. Okay? That's so, bad. we're going straight to the subject. <laughs> Alright. So, to understand the calendar, Understand a little bit this one. Let's understand that for Mayans, Earth is a square and is a flat, exactly the same like for Europeans used to be. Hmm. Only European they said, you pass arrogant columns and that the edge of the world. You fell and never come back. <laughs> That's what European used to say. For Mayans, Earth is a square and is a flat. Okay? <laughs> but they said on the second creations. The gods, they just take the heaven and they put it on top. The water is going to be on the bottom. And just in the middle level is going to be earth, cup. So they call the Khan, the Kaab, and the Shibaba, the three main levels in the cosmos. To avoid it, the sky fell, they put a tree on the middle of earth. The tree grew up with the branches, support the sky. It was a giant tree. All right? So this, those trees, the Chashche, grew up that would the branches support the sky. The roots connect these ones, the three levels, and the trunk. Khan, Kab, and Shubalba. They say that the sun rises in here, the sun is in here. But it's all right, the sun come up, but then fell. It climbed the 13 steps on the sky, 13 ledges. When it fails, and come to Shivalba, gotta be coming for nine levels. Nine ledges. Nine steps to the bottom. On the level number nine is the beginning of the life. Because they say to come up, you need to go first down. To come up into the tree, into the upper levels. I will show you an example of those trees right into loop. Nine levels down the bottom, 13 on top, and they say the cosmos is even. Because this could be day even, this could be night. <clears throat> day, night, up and down, male, female. Something that the Chinese, yin and yang. they call the yin and yang, they might just call the Hunapku. <coughs> On the number you can tell, no, it's not even. 13 and 9 is not even. But those 9, we're going to add the four directions of the cosmos. Nine plus four directions of the cosmos, the one that we go to north, south, east, and the west. Nine plus four? Is that 13? 13. 13 on top, 13 on the bottom. Day, night, life and death. <laughs> Sun and moon, male, female. Jiggy <laughs> Jack for Chinese, Hunapku <laughs> for Mayans. All right, how look this Hunapku? Like this one. This is the Hunapku. Okay? Hunapku. Or Jinginja, the Mayan Jinginja. All right? What looks like? Four regions of the cosmos. You can notice the four points, right? Mm -hmm. The four points that they say that the sun going to be passing. Okay? Hmm. Among the Mayans used to be 32 Mayan tribes. In general, we call this one the Mayan civilizations. These civilizations that it maybe grew up, born and grew up on this area. This is Yucatan Peninsula. Southern Peninsula, right here. Guatemala, Chiapas, Mexico. That's the crib of the Mayan civilizations. Because the Mayan cover the whole Yucatan Peninsula, any countries like Belize, like Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Over 400,000 square kilometers used to be the whole Mayan area. 32 Mayan tribes. From 32, is still alive. 19, 19 tribes is still alive. That is still speaking languages. Among them, the Mayan civilizations among themselves, they didn't call like a like a tradition. So all those are the sort of Mayans. Like into the Mayas, several tribes. Like a when we see the Mayans from Belma or the Cap. 
So I'm here with the Belma or, or the Cavis, all this land. It ties, Chichen Itza, it ties. Tutushu, Tojolobal, Chontal, Sertal, Sotil, Lacandon, Sokes, Chol, Mije, Mames, Kicheche, Chiquele. Those are the main tribes that are still alive. <laughs> the Chismayan is still alive. Among themselves. The writing system used to be the same. Same carpet that we can see in Tulum, we can see in Chichen Itza, we can see in you know, El Salvador, in Guatemala, Honduras. Same writing system. Religion is the same. The way to track the calendar is exactly the same. Only little changes in the language. We sit together. <laughs> All together. One table. And a guy from Australia. Mm. Okay, one from Australia. One from London. Mm. One from Texas. Mm -hmm. One from California. One from Kentucky. <laughs> right. All of them speak English. Right. But what changed on those? Golly. They changed the accents Excellent. and the slangs. Right? Yeah. Mainly the slangs. So like yeah. that is to be the way of people. Mm. So the slangs gotta be changing. But they can talk among themselves. Mm -hmm. I say like that is to be the Mayas. Because something that was like a universal for the nobility class it was the writing system. It was a privilege only for some months. They were to write and they were to read. But just not everyone know how to write or how to read. Okay? So on this calendar, the one that moved, they said, the one that moved the sun, the sun moved to the north, like I moved to the south, but I'm passing to a secure exactly on the middle point. What is this? Much easier for us to understand this one. On something like this one. What is this? That's supposed to be some kind of like the orbit of Earth. The same is right on the middle. Alright? On the Mayas, on the horizon line, light, they track this calendar. Twice a year in the middle, they said. The sun became to the north. The sun became to the south. Twice a year in the middle. For us, we understand that there is right here on March. He's right here on June. He's right here on September. Right here on December. Twice a year on the middle point. Those points for us represent a couple equinox. And those are the two solstices. Mm. Right? My encounter in tracking everything by 20s. 20 by 20. I call it with the anthropologist. Same like another civilization that use fingers, they might use the fingers to track and count. Sumerians to track the time, like we know to these days, seconds, minutes, hours, and days, became from Sumerians. Mm -hmm. Using fingers. Mm -hmm. Mayas using fingers. Um, ka, osh, kan, ho. Five. Plus five, ten, fifteen, twenty, they said they made us twenty fingers. So this one first, eighteen months. Each one over the twenty days, eighteen twenties, how much is it? He said three hundred and sixty days, eighteen twenties. March, June, September, December, eighteen twenties, three sixty. Missing five days. They said when the sun is hidden and arrived on this house, remain for the five days on this house. 360 plus 5 days on this house? It's 365. 365 days. In our calendar, the way how we track by seasons. How many days last on a season? Hmm. No? Don't worry. 90 days each one. <laughs> and then 90 times 4? Is it 360? Missing 5 days. What are those 5 days? Just right here. On December 21, we have a complete orbit. Mm -hmm. 360 plus 5.6. Five days, six hours. The transition among the seasons. The season doesn't start exactly at the same time, same day. Those rotate. In total, we accumulate five, five days, six hours. I know a little problem with six hours. Because we just keep accumulating six hours every year. And every four? We subtract 24 hours doing what? A leap year. Mm -hmm. Right? 
little problems in this calendar. So in total, our calendar is a track on a 365 days plus six hours. On the MISC, it's just only 365 days. That's so important that we understand what is a day for us, what is a day for Mayans. What is one day for us? One day for us is 24 hours. For the Mayans, what is a day? From sunrise to sunset. This is day, because this is night. Right? Day, night. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Day, night, half an hour. So it's just day to act on rise to sunset that day because that's the end of the day by the sunset because then there's the beginning of the night. So this is the solar calendar. March, June, December. Two equinox, two solstices. It's standing on the middle of Tulum, right on the middle point. So we're gonna find the main temple. The main temple gonna be just right on the middle of Tulum. You like this. Gonna be one temple here, one temple right here. The sun come up. Then came down. Come up, came down. If you start like a today, no, when well you come back at home, take one building, take a picture every day. One picture every day, like uh, you standing right here in front. You start to take a picture. You're going to see the sun first right here, then up 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 here. Gonna be coming like this, gonna be coming like this. You finish. Okay? You can take one every week. You're gonna make 52 pictures, same shape. Or 365 pictures. So just after this, is, we can track like that. But the Mayas on this line, like that, 20 by 20. Solar calendar, that was easy, right? 1820s plus five. And this one in combination with the lunar calendar. Because they say that the moon is a woman. The moon is a woman, see? La Luna, the moon is a woman. They say the moon is a woman, both have seven faces. I think no more. We're gonna keep on seven. Seven faces on the moon. Each one of the faces lasts for four days. Seven times more? 28. 28. Moon and woman, every religion. Wait, 28 days? From new moon to the full moon takes 14 days. Full moon, less moon, till disappear 14 days. 14 plus 14, 28, right? How began this year with the full moons? Remember the beginning of this year? Mm -hmm. You didn't saw the full moon? Yes. It was a full moon. Yeah. You know when is it coming the next one? This is exactly on January 31, 31st. It's gonna be full moon. Okay, so they track a calendar with the full moons. How many full moons in a year round? How many six, full seven, moons six, in one seven, year? Six, 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 seven. You can tell like a once a month, but only this month has two full moons. The one on, at the end of the month is the blue moon. Oh. Mm. So the total, those are 13, 13. full moons. Oh. 13, 28. It's a calendar, this one. That's a calendar. Uh -oh. The moon. 1328, 364 days. Hmm. This is the most important calendar known as the Shok Kin. The count of the days. And who's better to count days, male or female? Female. Female, of course. <coughs> With the 20 days, 1320 means? 1320s. 260. 260 days, what means? On a woman. In the moon. 260 days. Sixty-eight means the comparison.
bridge stations. Mm. People say the pregnancy. No, pregnancy takes 37 to 40 weeks. <coughs> Gestation can complete on 37 weeks. Mm. 37 weeks? Mm. 37 times 7, 259 days. Right? So the complete gestation, 260 days for Maya represent the beginning of the life, like it represent the support of life. Hmm. What is the support? One of the three main grains, which is the corn, the whole crops for Mayans, mm -hmm. it takes 260 days. Hmm. All right? Wow. Slashing, burning, planting to the harvest, the whole crop, 260 days. Like that. Okay? Mm. Good? Yes. Perfecto. 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 The two calendars. Matt and astronomy give us a calendar. <coughs> they develop on the writing system symbols. Some symbols like a letters and some ones like a numbers. A numbers. Using fingers. So you take like a, a little brush, you just put a, a little <coughs> dot. The dot is um, is one. Um, ka, osh, kan, ho. This little opening between these, those two is a ho, is a five. So five is a bar. <laughs> one and five. But also the mic can develop a symbol. <coughs> Known as Kaal. <laughs> Only two civilizations in the world will develop this number, which is the number zero. Just the Mayas and the Hindus develop zero. So the Mayas, they use some kind of like a coin shell. Looks more like an American football, but this is Kaal, this is zero. Hmm. All right? One, five, and zero. Okay? So they track, count, they said Om, Ka, Osh, Kan, Ho. One, two, three, four, five. Wak, O, Washak, Bolom, Lahum. Ten. Buluk, Balak, Osh, Lahum, Kan, Lahum. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One to nineteen. Mm. Got it? One to nineteen. So twenty. Twenty. For the nation ticket. Twenty. How do you think that we write twenty? Four bars. Four bars. Yes. Okay, I will give you a ticket. Not because he's right. Because you participate, okay? <laughs> you think like what I this? But this is wrong. Okay? So then we're gonna use the cal. Zero? Um cal. One. And a zero is a twenty. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> And then I can see those faces again. <laughs> 1 and 0, 20. Come on. Yes. 1 and 0 is a 20. On this system. We track. We know and use the decimal system. For us, it's so normal to count 1 through 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we start. One and zero. One and one. One and two. Two nine. Right? On this one, one through nineteen. There was there one and zero. One and one. Okay. One and two. One and three. That's in bars and zeros. All right? So one to 18 and then we start over one. V decimal system, not a decimal. You getting this down? So that's how the mic and you do right.
Okay? You know I'm gonna try. So know in a while, we're gonna be just passing and arriving on Playa del Carmen. I'm recording, so we can try. Around 40% of the group is sleeping already. Make <laughs> <laughs> no sense to be talking to sleeping people. <laughs> So I will let you enjoy this icing on Playa del Carmen. So we're just gonna be passing over like an overpasses. Later we come back into this point. Over Playa del Carmen, okay? Maybe 20, 25 minutes break, and then I will come back. All right. All right. All right. Bueno. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Muchas gracias. I will be giving the deal in case anyone. Anybody has a question? All right. That's Muchas gracias. Thank you. Like one of my English teachers tell me, I can teach me. I'll be back. <laughs> gracias. Thank you.